the new Hyundai i20 has been constantly evolving and raising the bar in the premium hatchback segment since it was launched in India back in December 2008. This premium hatchback has been on the progression path which has helped the model become a household name for car buyers in India and around the globe. And now that the stylish new third generation i20 has rolled out, it has been getting raving reviews for its design, cabin layout, abundant features and last but not the least, safety and performance. To decode the magic of this popular car, we have brought together four voices from various fields to share their perspective on what they think about the all-new Hyundai i20. To talk about the exterior design, we have invited architect Purva Sinde Singh. With offices in Pune and Goa, Purva is a force to reckon with in the architecture and design world, with a keen interest in fitness and mountaineering besides. So recently I came across this car. I already owned an i20 and I still have an i10 from last 10 years which is parked in Goa. And I'm, I know that it's a very powerful machine. I was always in love with i20. But I think with the new i20 look which they have given, it just reminds me uh, of the trend in architecture also changing. Previously, we, we, we had straight line buildings and now you see the trend changing with more of bionic architecture and the free-flowing kind of uh, buildings. And you see the same thing I think Hyundai has tried to capture in here, to be with the next age generation design. Uh, this Jali reminds me of the ancient architecture uh, wherein we had these Jalis to keep the houses cooler. I think it's, this Jali is made for that purpose only. You see the, some lines, they are nice, curvy and flowing kind of a line. They have not shied away to use lot of shapes in this design. You see the mirror, it's again in the flowy kind of a design. And I think they have just really tried to match up with the younger generation and today's architecture as well as design uh, field wherein it gives you that, you know, uh, today's generation car, but at the same time, you know, very sporty kind of a look in this car. And to take us through the beautiful cabin layout, we talk with designer Poonam Mehta. This well-known designer has several international awards to her credit and has completed her degree from the prestigious University of Arts, London. So here we are in the new i20. I am super excited to kind of walk you through and what I feel in terms of interiors, what is related and what I can kind of feel is so much similar to, uh, you know, designing homes. When we're thinking about designing homes, it's pretty much like it needs to be comfortable, it needs to be airy, it needs to have the right sunlight, it needs to kind of feel at home in a way like the comfort, luxury, and I think pretty much what I'm sitting and I'm feeling comfortable, I think i20 is matching all the aspects of it. So the most exciting design feature that I see right in front of me, which is really exciting, is the dashboard and what exactly is happening here with the AC grills. It's like the entire continuous AC grill concept. I think that's brilliant. Otherwise, you always see these individual AC pockets and this has this amazing grill that pretty much runs through and through and gives you a, almost like a feel of a really linear space and binds the whole space together. Another most exciting part of the car, I think, is the car seats itself. It's amazingly comfortable. It's got that little interesting shape that kind of hugs your body. And uh, the most interesting detail, if you notice, is the red trim that you see through and through. It's a little kind of a trim that they've used all across the seat. It almost feels like a really expensive sofa set at home. I mean, it's brilliant. The detailing, I would say, top notch. And Talking Tech is the publisher and consulting editor of T3, Girish Malia. This multifaceted personality is a professional sportsperson, motivational speaker and has over two decades of experience as a media professional. This is the first time I'm getting into the Hyundai i20, the new one. And uh, let's start off with uh, what we have inside. Uh, I'm sure all of you loved the interiors, the exteriors of the car. Uh, let's see what technology they've packed into this. 
To start off, all of us need our mobile phones. So first thing is it needs constant charging. So the wireless charging works beautifully. You have it constantly plugged in while you're driving. And you can pretty much use your mobile phone uh, via their proprietary technology of Blue Ink to pretty much do everything through your phone. So you can track where your car is, you can start the engine, you can know where your refueling is happening, location of the car. So basically the phone uh, pairs with your car and you can pretty much control everything about your car sitting inside the car or from your home. So you know where it's located, where it's moving, the works. So all in all, I think we've got a very action-packed uh, feature-led car here for you and uh, I'm already loving it. The music's beautiful. Let's roll. Enjoy. And to tell us a bit about the car's performance and dynamics is Aspi Bhatena, the editor of Car India magazine. With over 40 years of hands-on experience, Aspi is one of the most respected names among the Indian and international automotive journalism fraternity. We're talking about the new i20, the Hyundai i20, and if there's something you have to talk about progression, there's no better car to talk about progression than the i20. The i20 has come a long way from the first gen i20 that sold out by Hyundai. In 2008, I had been to Hyundai R&D Center in Namia. And at that time, I'd written about it in the magazine, saying it's probably you know, this is a company that you have to look out for, for the cars that they'll make. And my words have come true today, because it's every new car Hyundai is up the game, and the new i20 sends a benchmark in safety and performance. The performance of the new i20 is something you have to experience, really. And when we talk about safety. It's just not about the active safety, it's also the passive safety. NCAP ratings are important, very important. So, but a good car with good dynamics, it saves you from having an accident in the first place. So that makes it even a safer car by having good dynamics. The handling and suspension setup of the new i20 is really top class.